Here's the biggest mistake I see people do when they replace Sky on the photos. I'm here in Photoshop. I shot this a couple of weeks ago in New York. You gotta subscribe to this channel to see the video, the behind the scene. And I see a lot of people like take a daylight photo like this and they're just like, oh, I'm gonna put the sky there and it's gonna look awesome. This looks completely fake because you can tell that the water, like just the way the lighting is done at the bottom doesn't match the top. And in your mind, you can not you can feel that something is wrong. You know, another kind of mistake that I see a lot, this is like one of my favorite photo of the uh, Statue of Liberty. And, you know, some people can go really sort of crazy. Like, you know, this kind of works better, but it's still the wrong time. It's just the way the buildings are. It's kind of like the blue hour. This is kind of like more like a sunset. It sort of doesn't match. And sometimes people do even mistakes like this where they take a night photo and they try to put like a daylight sky. That doesn't work. And some people go even more crazy and like, oh, let's put on a Milky Way. Uh, you know, it just looks so fake. So let's crack this photo. For this one, I'm actually gonna give you a whole bunch of sky for free. You can download them under this video as part of my free toolbox. I'm gonna show you how to, so this is the option to how to use the right sky and maybe we're gonna add some sky. So you go to edit, you go to sky replacement and by default, it's gonna use the last sky you've used. Now, uh, I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of sky and I'm gonna show you how to add them into Photoshop. So this is the wrong sky. So what you do is you click here and you come to this window. Now, if this window doesn't look like, you, like this, you can make it bigger. You can make the sky go small or go big. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to add sky in your library. So first create a group and let, you can call it surge sky, for example. So, and this you only have to do one time. Okay. So I'm on surge sky and then I'm going to click here on plus. You got to download a zip file called Photography Toolbox 2024 that will be sent to your email if you download it. And then you go to Sky and check this out. I'm going to give you all these skies for free. So you can select them all like this and click open. And it's going to add them to Photoshop forever, meaning it's going to go to the cloud and it's going to be in your Photoshop forever, which is really cool. Okay, so you can see all the skies were imported. This is all these skies here. And on this one, I'm going to use the right sky, something that can work. This was a blue hour, but this was a crazy blue hour there. I think this sky is going to work a lot better. Although it's a lone exposure sky, I really what it like to does to this photo. So I'm, I'm going to show you a little trick. You put it in and if you want to adapt it, let me uh, make this smaller. So here it is. Uh, what you can do is you can go here and you can press command T and you can sort of move it around. I want this to go over the Statue of Liberty. I want the God race to be right over the Statue of Liberty. And then what you can do is you can hold on the shift key and you can squatch that. It's going to squatch a little bit the sky. You can do that on the other side too, so that the God ray is right above the Statue of Liberty. And boom, that's one kind of sky that I like. And then what I advise you to do is try many sky. So this one I like. There's another one I kind of like. So you go back to edit, sky replacement. So this one here is in the default section called Spectacular. And I think this one is gonna work on this photo because it is a blue R, just a spectacular blue R. The idea is you have to pick a sky that was shot at the same time. It's just more spectacular. So for me, that can kind of work. You know, I would maybe have to make the bottom a bit more red. So what you can do is, what's amazing is you got a curve here, foreground color, and here is the curve and you can go directly to the reds and you click and drag up and you see I'm going to overdo this you can see it makes the bottom much more red so you can let's add a bit of more red like this and it only affects the bottom greens let's click on the greens and you just move it around yeah it makes more sense to go down and to the blue let's click up what do we want to do with the blue maybe go just a little more blue and you see before, after, we change a little bit, very subtle, the bottom, but it matches better. Okay, one more example. I shot this in Las Vegas. I have an incredible video coming out because I was hired by the Sphere and the city of Vegas to shoot a beautiful photo of the Sphere, which is this incredible new attraction. So I had this idea. Uh, I got the authorization to fly a drone over the Gulf and I took a whole panorama of the Gulf and I kind of liked the photo, but the sunset was had no sky. It was a sunset. It was very bright. 
you know, the city lights came on, but there was no clown. So I was like so upset. So on this one, I'm going to take another option. I'm going to use the right sky, but I'm going to show you how to add a reflection because otherwise it's not going to work. So edit sky replacement. This one, I'm going to come out of my Florida selection. I encourage you to shoot your own skies. And, you know, I don't really love sky replacement. I try to avoid it at all costs. But, you know, when I was shooting for the city of Vegas, they were like, we want some good sky replacement. So on this one, I use this one, this guy there, uh, which was kind of like what would have happened if there was clouds at the same time than this. But you see, we don't have reflection. So I want to show you how to make this better. So how to add the reflection. First thing is you select the sky and you press Command J on your keyboard to copy the layer. Second, you can see here, we have a little attachment. That means this is linked. We want to unlink this. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say unlink layers. So now we don't have the chain. Then I want to get rid of that, which is the mask. So I'm going to right click and delete layer mask. And now the sky is here. What we want to do is a perfect reflection. So how do you do that? You press Command T on your keyboard, Command T, or you go to Edit, Free Transform. And then you right click and you flip vertical. By flip, flipping vertical, you're going to mirror the image. Okay. And then you hold on a shift key uh, so that you can, when you bring down the image, it aligns perfectly. If you don't hold on the shift key, you can go anywhere. So you want to hold on the shift key. Voila. And you see the, the sky is going to align perfectly as a mirror. And I'm going to put the mirror over the lake like that. All right. And now what I'm going to do is two more steps. I'm going to put this into multiply mode multiply mode so now it blends everywhere but it blends too much you see but it blends where we want it in the lake and now i'm going to hold on the option key and click on the mask by holding on the option key click on a mask i'm going to create a black mask and the black mask you know black concealed white reveals so nothing is going to appear so now I, I take a brush i make sure white is my foreground color i make sure the opacity is around like 25 percent and i'm just going to brush where the water is to slowly bring back some of the reflection. And because we're using the multiply mode, it's gonna blend absolutely perfectly. And now check this out. Look at this sky replacement. It matches perfectly with the reflection. Make sure you grab the skies and you subscribe to not miss the next episode. You don't wanna miss this one.